this video is all about pipe sizing using Pipeflow Expert software to evaluate the size of gas pipeline with Wemoth equation. Now, this is a problem. They say a natural gas transmission line transports 30 million meter cube per day of gas from a processing plant to a compressor station site. 100 kilometers away, the pipeline can be can be assumed to be along a flat terrain. Calculate the minimum pipe diameter required requires such that the maximum pipe operating pressure is limited to 8,500 kilopascal. The delivery pressure desired at the end of the pipeline is a minimum of 5,500 kilopascal. Assuming a pipeline efficiency of 0.95, the gas gravity is 0.65, and the gas temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. Using the Wehmoth equation, considering base temperature of 15 degrees and base pressure of 101 kilopascal, the gas compressibility factor Z is equal to 0.2. Now, let's go to the Pipeflow Expert software. Let's make use of the Pipeflow Expert software to size this system. Now, for what we are supposed to do now is we first it is a natural gas, but this um, fluid data here now shows that this is water. Now, we need to change it to a natural gas flow system. You can make the changes here by clicking on this button and you click on this drop down list, which is this change fluid. Or you can come to this tab here. And this, this fluid here, this tab here, and click on this drop down list, which is the change fluid. The same with what we have there. So now we now have to change it to gas. Now we go to natural gas. We can select any of these natural gas. So now let's select this. Now we have selected that. Now, having selected that, the specific gravity they gave us was 0 0.65. But here the specific gravity is 0 0.60. So we need to change the specific gravity and also calculate the density of the natural gas. So for us to do that, there is a button here, which is a specific gravity button. We'll click on it. When I go here, change this to 0 0.65. Now, and the, and the gas, the gas temperature is 18. So we need to change this to 18. So because the gas temperature what is 18. Now we just say calculate the density. So now we have calculated the density. When I click on this save, we click on this save, it will now record the density. Now, so that is it. So now what we, we have now recorded this. So I will now say save. Having saved, we have now changed the fluid. Now, when I click this add pipe button, select the point here, we right click, we come here. Now, at this point, they say they, they, we now need to include putting a demanding flow. Because they gave us the flow, the flow rate. Now, on this demanding flow, we have meter cube per hour. So we need to change the gas flow to the units, which is millions meter cube per day. So I'll go to units, go to specific, uh, specify units. Now, when I go to gas flow, gas flow, we look at 
this is million standard cubic meter per day. Just select this. Now, on this, you have atmospheric pressure, okay? Now, we need to use a gauge. Um, we need um, to use what? A gauge pressure. Sorry, absolute uh, absolute pressure. So, we select this absolute pressure because our result is supposed to come in form of an absolute pressure. So, having done that, there are some other changes we needed to make here too. We need to come to this um, calculation. Now, it is in non-compressible fluid. So, but we need to bring it to compressible fluid because this is a natural gas. So we now have to select compressible fluid node that just, okay. Now, and the, the equation they say we should use, they say we should use Wehmort equation. So we just come here. At this drop down list, we select this Wehmort isothermal flow equation. Now, the efficiency they gave us, they gave us efficiency of 0 0.5, 0 0.95. Now, and it was not an ideal gas law. We're not supposed to make use of an ideal gas law. We are supposed to make, now there is, they gave us compress, uh, compressibility factor. So we need to change the compressibility factor from one to the value they gave us, which is 0 0.92. So you use a customized compressibility factor in order to make changes to the value. So now we are done with that. So I will just click OK. So now, here now, I will just click Edit. So now I will type in 30. So it's 30 million cubic meter per day. So now we have added it here. Then the next thing I will do is to draw a line. Draw a line from here to any arbitrary point here. Now they, they want us to change the default pipe value. So now I would say yes, I want to change the default pipe value. So now we are using, now we don't know the size of pipe, so we can use any pipe. Any any size here. Now we need to change the length of pipe. The length they said is 100 kilometers away. So the length is 100 kilometers. So 100 kilometers will give you 100,000 meters. Give you 100,000 meters. So. Let's look at the material we're using. Um, let me make use of um, let's say size. Let's make use of this size. Uh, let me start with a smaller pipe. Let's start with 200. I want to click save. Now we are working with 200. I will now say okay. So now I need to change the node 2 to end pressure. So at the net end pressure, I needed to now the pressure is supposed to be 55 supposed to be 5,500 kilopascal absolute. That was what they gave us. So now we need to convert that 5,500 kilopascal absolute to um, to gauge. So now to change that to gauge, we go to our calculator. We have 5,500 minus 101.320 0 0.3205 so 
So this is it. This is what we're supposed to. This is the information. So let me write it down. I have five three nine eight point six seven five kilopascal. So that is the value we're going to input here. So now we're going to input that here. So we have five three point okay, sorry, five three nine eight. Five three nine eight point six seven three kilopascal. So that is it. So so that is it now. Now the whole information we have input all the necessary information we need for this job. So now what well, what are we we're going to do now is to run the analysis by clicking the calculation button, the calculate button. So if I click the calculate button, they say the gas system flow rates show a gas flow unit. Okay. Now let's look at the pressure. This one is 55. Okay. Why this the pressure here is too high? It's extremely too high. So we need to make a change. But before I do that, let me see. This pressure, I should change it to kilopascal. Click OK. So that's the result supposed to be in kilopascal. Okay, it's in kilopascal now. So this is 55. So this is 5,000. So it's within the range. So now, but this is more than this is 300 and this is 332,764 kilopascal. Why? So it's far above. It's far, far above the maximum pipe operating pressure. So the maximum pipe operation pressure is 8,500 kilopascal absolute. But here, you have 332,764 kilopascal absolute. So now, so this pipe is not the right pipe for this job. So we need to change the pipe. So now, but I need to explain I need to make some explanation on how now you know we need to look at the relationship between pressure and um, pipe sizing so that we, we can be able to now begin to make selections begin to now select the pipes we are supposed to use so now So we begin to make sele selections on the pipes we are supposed to use. So now what we're going to do now is so now let's go back to let's go back to now in you know that. The head loss is proportional to the pressure loss. Is proportional to pressure loss and the pressure loss is proportional to the friction factor, the length of pipe, the diameter of pipe. 
the speed the flow there is a flow the, the flow velocity and 2g so now what we are working with now is the pressure loss is proportional to is inversely proportional to the diameter now and so the total pressure loss if you have if there is a pipe like if you have a pipe in this form and you have a pressure here p2 and you have another pressure here p1 so the change in p is p1 minus p2 now we know this we want this to be smaller we want p1 to be smaller for p1 to be smaller For P1 to be smaller, to be smaller, to be smaller, because what we have here now, here is 5,500 kilopascal, while here is 8,500 kilopascal. Here is supposed to be 8,500 kilopascal. Now, but what we got here was 370. Let me check it again. Let's go back to that. What we have was... Um, we have... We have 332,764. So 332,764 kilopascal. So this is very high. It's very high. For us to get a value closer to this, now we need is a reduced pressure drop we need a smaller pressure drop now for us to get a smaller pressure drop it means that this value here should be smaller should be of this value because this minus this uh, 8500 minus 5500 will give you 3000 kilopascal so, but 332,700 minus this will give you a very high value. So now, that means, and the change in pressure, in, in, in the change, there is a pressure drop is in, inversely proportional to the size of the pipe. So, if you use a bigger pipe, the pressure drop will begin to reduce. So, if you increase the, the size of the pipe, the pressure drop, the pressure loss will begin to decrease. So we need the pressure drop to decrease so that we can get to 8,500. So now for us to do that, we need to begin to increase the value of the pipe. So now that is what we're going to do. Now let's go back to the software. So that means we are going to be increasing the size of pipe. So now for us to do that, we come here. Let's select 500. I have not selected the pipe. So now 500. I'll click transfer selected size. So I'll click save. Now we we'll calculate. Now, what we, it drops to 34,000. So, 34,000. So, it has dropped drastically. So, 
it is not the um the entry pressure is 34,000 while the pressure drop is 29 now. So now let's increase let's decrease it further. Let's increase the let's increase the size and also decrease the pressure drop further. Now let's select the pipe. Let me use 600. Let me see. 600. When I select transfer selected sizing, click save pipe. Now click calculate. Now let's look at the. So now the pressure drop is now 16. 16,000. We're looking at 8,000. So why the entry pressure? Which is we're looking at. Sorry, the entry pressure we're looking at 8,500, but here now we have 21,700, so it's still high, it's still high. So this is higher than the maximum operating pressure. So now we are going to we're going to select the higher the now. Let's go to the pipe again. Okay, we've selected 600. So this one did not work. So we'll look at another material. We'll look at the uh, schedule. Let's look at this standard because this one has so many um, size so from six millimeter to 1,500 millimeter. So let's look at this standard one. Um, this, schedule, this schedule for standards, standard pipe for steel. So now, now let's go to we have used 600 millimeters you know what let's go to 700 let's learn now calculate let's see so let's look at the we're looking at okay the entry the entry pressure is now 11,700 and 11,784 so it's still high. It's still high. The pressure is still high. So we still need to reduce it further. Now let's look at um let's look at another size now. Um let's look at 800. Eight hundred. The entry pressure is nine thousand, nine thousand eighty-six. Still high, still high, still high. So, and you see the pressure drop has dropped drastically to three thousand five hundred and eighty-six. So now, so the entry pressure we are, we are looking at entry pressure of eight thousand five hundred. So this for size eight hundred millimeter cannot give us what we want. So now we we are going to make another selection let's go to let's go to size 900 um, let's see okay there's no 900 okay there's 900 let's go to size 900 let's see calculate Uh, the entry pressure is far below this is 7600 it's very low very low is far below 8,500. This is, we, the, the, the maximum is supposed to be 8,500. But now we are having far below 8,500. We are having um, 7,600. 7, so now we have to ref it up a little. Let's look at the, 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 the smaller pipe. Let's look at a smaller pipe that can fit in. Let's look at... Um, now we we choose 900 so now let's look at 800 so 800 click calculate now 800 what is the entry pressure here now? 
the entry pressure is 8200 so this one is good because it's a little bit below it's a little below you know it's a little bit below let me see it's a little bit below let's go back let me a little bit below let's let me just increase what I will do with that is to increase the wall thickness now let's 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 look at it increase the wall thickness but the same size of pipe let's see now this pipe let's add a new pipe the, the size of pipe should be 815 815 now let me increase the wall thickness a little 10 and then here let's this value will still be the same this should be 863.6 let me say the weight is the same thing but it will not be the same level. let me just that one does not affect the calculation now this value now will not be the outside diameter minus two times the wall thickness minus two times the wall thickness so that is eight four three point six so this is a little bit below this other one Let's see whether it will work. So this is it now. So let me select, let's select it and save and calculate. Let's view our results. Still below, still below, still below. Let me also increase the wall thickness a little again. Let's increase the wall thickness a little. Let me add. This is eighty five. Let's say, let me use twenty. Twenty, but it's a twenty. I went to this mm, twenty. Okay, twenty is still okay. Twenty, this will give us eight. Two three point six outside the the symptoms is six three point six. Let me still use the same size, the weight, same weight. So let's select this. Calculate, run the calculation. Let's view. Ah, this one is more than, it's more than, it's more than. Let's. This is eight thousand five hundred and fifty-six point seven four eight. So let me use. Let's use fifteen as wall thickness. Fifteen. Let's see if fifteen will work. So let's use 15. Let's add another one 15. Mm, if you add 15, that would be that would be eight. Three three point six. This will now be fifteen. 
this is k six three point six two zero zero point four one four. So that is it. Let's now select that object, save it, run the analysis. Okay, this is close to eight four. So this is okay. I'll work with this. So now this is the size. So the size is a little bit below. 8,500, so it's okay. So I'll work with this. So that is it. The, the size is 850 millimeters. And so the size, the, the one we selected now is, so the diameter is eight, either 850 millimeter then 15 millimeter thickness, wall thickness. We can also use 850 millimeter and um, 10 millimeter thickness. So that will work too. To work. So so this too can work but anything 20 but 20 20 millimeter wall thickness cannot work because it will be more than the it will be more than this pressure to give a value more than this pressure so that is it thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and also share it and also hit the notification bell thank you